Radio Raheem here in Belfast, Ireland with the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. You and Joshua, I don't think, have barely been in the same room together, but the animosity is so thick and so real. I don't think that you're putting on a show at all. Like, How do you feel about him personally and as an opponent or a potential opponent? How does that relationship uh, Falling on your mind. I mean, you know, I'm known to be honest, and I'm always. Honest. I mean, I used to like the guy, though. I really used to like him. You know what I mean? Um, I definitely still wish him the best. I like what he has done as a black man. You know, to take over his country and be able to support. You rarely ever see that. You know, um, and it, that that right there is, is 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 great to see. But you know, he's not the best, and he know he's not. You know, all this has been something to to. To, to blind the people, to, to make it seem like something that is not. You know, many people could easily say, oh, he's just jealous of, no, why would I be jealous? I got some of the best, I got the best thing in life. I got a loving, I got a loving wife and I got loving kids, bro. Every day I can wake up, I see those beautiful faces. You know, whether she kissing me saying, good morning, baby, or whether the kids come in there, or whether I'm saying good morning to the baby and she's smiling, look at me. That's 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 life, man. That that right there is rich. You can't buy that. You know what I'm saying? So me, I ain't never jealous. Now, many people be jealous of me or what I possess, cause you can't buy this. You know what I'm saying? But he just didn't want to fight, and that's the thing that I I I had the most trouble about is they prolonged this thing for like three and a half months. They knew that what they was doing. I wasn't never in the plan. I don't see how people could could not see it, but I, I but I also could because of all the things that they was putting in the way, all the the hype that was built up around this guy, and now it all coming crushing, crumbling down <laughs> day by day, day by day. And if it ain't crushed, not you don't even hear the, nobody talking about him fighting Povetkin because people have waking up. They're woke now, you know. <laughs> They see what's going on. People know I wanted to fight. I t you know, like I said, I, I, we offered him money. He didn't want it. We all, we took lower money. They didn't want to do it. Have I lost my pen? You got damn right. It's somewhere in the, uh, the Titanic. You lost your what? My pen. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the Titanic, the ship that went down, you know? We got to go find it. Give him one. Bomb squad! Thank you, sir. You know what it is. Much appreciated. Blessings, brother.